Hi folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and today I'm continuing on with my summer repair and maintenance series um, and we're going to fix up the screen door. The screen's in pretty sad shape. It's starting to pull away a bit here. A little rip here and down here we have looks like a little beagle gouge. Is that you? That dog gouge in the screen. Anyway, I'm going to pull that door off. Uh, another thing I'm going to do while I have it off is repair the, the weather stripping on it. It's got this kind of a foam weather stripping while it's starting to break down with the sun. So I'm going to get rid of that and put a fresh uh, set of weather stripping around the door. So I think what I'll do is take the door right off. That's the easiest way I can give it a good clean up. So it's got six screws on this, three hinges with six screws, and then the whole door will come right off and I can uh, give it a good clean, some soap and water, get that screen out and uh, replace the screen. So I picked myself up some tools and stuff to do the job here. Let's look at my screw gun. I'm going to try out my new uh, oscillating tool picked up a scraper blade there and hopefully that'll help me get that uh, weather stripping off and the glue behind it really easily. Uh, I got new weather stripping and I got a new screen. This is an aluminum screen and it looks like it's really good for bugs. It needs a little finer mesh than the regular screen. Also black so it might block out some more light. And this is just a little tool to help me uh, put the screen in. Okay, let's get to work and get that door off. Okay, door is off. Now, I don't know if you've seen this stuff before, but it's pretty easy to change the screen. You just have to pull out this uh, rubber bit that holds the screen in place. And the old screen will come right out. The nice part about pulling the door right off is it makes it a lot easier to clean. Well, I needed a couple other tools I didn't mention. A pair of scissors to cut the screen and a utility knife to trim off the extra screen. So this little tool here has two, two ends. One is a concave end, and one is a convex end, and one is for sinking the screen into the channel. And then once you put the rubber in, the other end, here you can see, is to help put it in easily. You could use a screwdriver for all this, but the tool just makes it nice and quick for you. really helps to do it on a nice warm day too. Let the rubber get nice and pliable, about 80 degrees out, so works really well. Better than doing it on a cold day, that's for sure. And we just super sharp X-Acto knife. I'm a 45 degree angle and she should mostly just peel right off there. There we go. Beauty. So if you wanted to know the size I bought, I picked up a 36 inch by 84 inch sheet of it and that was enough to do both sections there and I have one extra bit enough to do one more section in case I need to do a repair. So now let's get started on this inside here. Angie's making sure that I'm doing everything right in her boss position there underneath the ottoman. Okay, let's strip off this junk. So 
though the multi-tool did a pretty good job of getting that old uh, trim off and a lot of the glue. Quite pleased with it. Works works like a hot damn. Okay, so now I just got to go and uh, put on the new stripping that I picked up. Picked up sort of a closed uh, foam cell indoor-outdoor strip, just like what, what was on there. Maybe a little better, a little thicker. Looking good, looking good. Okay, just need to get that door back on and it'll be Miller time. A little bit of leftover weather stripping. I bought 15 feet and it did the job plenty. It's going to add a bit more, replace the, the foam on the slider door here. Maybe add some foam here as well. That'll just uh, give the bugs a little harder time even to get through there. Okay, there we go folks. Another repair done on the old Cougar. I'm doing pretty good this summer. It's not even half over. Got a ton of repairs done. So, time to take a break. Have a, have a beer. Job well done. Gonna have one of these called purple gas wheat ale with Saskatoon berries and honey. Oh, that's a Canadian beer. Till next time, everyone. Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers.